But really the basics are that you have to be on social media. It's not, it's not if you should, you have to must period, like just you must do it. Um, the ones that I do is Facebook and Instagram, and I strongly recommend for you to link them together. Um, so you create a business page. So when I talk, by the way, it's business page, not personal, right? And a personal, you're wasting your time. You can only have 5,000 followers on a personal account and you cannot run ads, nor do you have demographics. You don't have what we call insights. You don't know who's your follower, how old they are, where they're located, what time of the day they log in, do they watch your videos in full, things like that. So you have to have business pages. So mine is Gogo's Real Estate. Number one is the brand, right? Um, you have to have that name figured out because if John is John Kitchens and one of the, like johnkitchens.com, right? And one of the websites. And then on the other one, you go and it's texasfavoritrealtor.com. I don't know that that's the same thing, right? And many realtors don't even use the same images on their stuff. So right. if I go to your Facebook profile, the person, the image is not the same as your Instagram and your personal is totally different and your .com and your business card and your, let, let's not even talk about your yard sign, right? So when I'm saying name and image, everything's the same. So if you look at anything of mine is the lady in the red dress and you have to have that. So this is just the basics, right? Like I know I'm taking you all the, like everybody's like, but you have to have the basics name image so people can recognize you. If you change that, you're going to change it on every single platform.